George Roop, making his way to the world-famous octagon. George Roop is primarily known as a striker. He's extremely tall for this weight class, and you'll see him use that long reach to land his jab. He's got knockout power in both his hands and his feet. George Roop, fired up and ready to go. Daddy Stevenson, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Joe Stevenson is an extremely experienced competitor with over 50 pro fights. He's got outstanding grappling and a vice grip of a guillotine choke. If he gets a hold of your neck, it's all over. Joe Daddy Stevenson, ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tick is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tucson, Arizona. George Woo. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Victorville, California. Go, Daddy Stevenson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, let's come out fighting. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Okay, you George ready? Root. Are you ready? Joe Daddy Stevenson. And here we go. Let's Joe fight. Stevenson, ultimate fighter winner, jiu-jitsu black belt, judo black belt, and he has some serious power in his clinching. Very good guillotine chokes and excellent leg locks as well, Mike. He's got half guard. Transitions to side control. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Got the butterflies in. Reversal. Very nice. Boom. Side control. Nicely done. Okay, moves into the mount here. Half guard. Oh, we got reversed. Moves into half guard. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Side control. He's in the salivary position. He's in full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. And he's got he's in side, side control. control. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Trying to get to a dominant position, Joe. Great reversal. Pushes him off with the feet. Beautiful. No, no, no. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. And now he's answered. Oh, nice left and a right. He drags him to the ground. Nicely done. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Just over a minute remains. Oh, he gets reversed. He passes to half guard and back to full guard. 
Oh, reversal. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Work that wrist control. Oh, we got reversed. Our first round is in the books. The crowd is showing its disappointment in that performance, Joe. I love the intricacies of the ground game, but neither guy seemed willing to take a chance when it went there, which makes for a very stale, very unexciting matchup. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. That back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you got to fight it off. Shandela gets us set for round two. Okay, fighters, you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Good takedown defense. Both guys staying in tight. Inside leg kick. Set him up, set him up. Some vicious kicks. What an exchange here. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. He dives on him into the guard with that punch. Pushing his opponent away. And he cursors. Nice right hand. Oh, body shot. Nice double leg. Side control. He's got the full mount. Relax here. You're fine. Relax here. Oh, he got reversed. Three minutes remains in the second round. Very nice. And right into side control. Way to work. Using the butterflies. Get up right now. Right now. Get He's in the guard. Side control again. And into full mount. Oh, he's going for an arm bar. Good defense here. He's keeping the hands tight. Oh, he rolled out of it. Very nicely done. Oh, he gets reversed. Back to side control. Wow, that right hand. Great job on the reversal. 90 seconds remains in the second. Big right hand, he's down. He's in the guard now. Oh! And he gets reversed. Under a minute remains. Butterfly guard. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh! Looping hook there. He's got the double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Excellent combination. Oh, big kick. Joe looking for the takedown here. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jiu-jitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. Yeah, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, okay? Gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over. Okay? Swim that arm over. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class striking right there. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Woo! 
Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big four. Okay, push the Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Okay, fighters, you ready? Are you ready? And we are set Let's for fight. the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh! Oh, he hit with a big left hook. Stuffed. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Back nice. and forth. Good combinations here. And another takedown. He's looking to isolate an arm here, looking for the Kimura. He's got it in position. This is very tight. He's cranking on it. He might get the win here. This looks like he's going to get it, Mike. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Losing a half guard. Nicely done. Able to posture up. Got the butterflies. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Half guard. Full guard. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. Oh, reversal. Side Easy control. Done, Joey. Pushed down the leg, got the hip out of the way, and got into a more dominant position. He's in the full mount, Joe. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Side control now. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. You've got better position. Reversal. Very nice. Side control. Oh, big elbow. Pressure. Pressure. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. He's got side control. In the half guard. He's in the full mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Drops down for a double. Nice job. Double leg. He ain't that one. And that signifies the end of round three of this UFC title fight. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. Find those punches. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body from two, okay? Hey, he gets that back. You fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body off, you got to fight it off. You swim that arm over. Okay. Swim that arm over. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. Now a look at that near submission that was let go. Didn't quite have it locked in. And here's that submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Oh you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm lock. You can catch him all day long. Ariani gets us set for round four. You can find this. You read. You read. We begin the championship rounds. This is round four of this title fight. Good sprawl. He shoots in. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. Breathe move right now. Breathe and move. Keep moving. Work it now. Make space and go. Submission time. Come down with a good one. He's got the double. Get him back and up. And he's got it. And he's down. Boom, he's down. He's got side control. You go now, you go. Great reversal. Boom, oh. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Oh, he got reversed. 
Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Nice right hand. Oh, another one he landed. And now Stevenson is cut open, Joe. Tag to the hook. Push kick. Nice combination. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Oh, good combination. Nice body kick. Top of that big right. A oh, beautiful uppercut and a nice body kick. He takes him down again. 30 seconds remain. Oh, he gets reversed. He passes to half. Postures up. Big right hand. And that is the end of round number four. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jujitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Right? You feel look at that guard. Bring out that combat. You take yourself, okay? You start working. You start working that knee. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang! And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. To score. All you need to do is score. You score with that take -down. Chandela gets us ready for the fifth and final round. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the Let's fifth fight. and fight. final round fight. of this fight. UFC fight. title fight. Nice counter. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice counter right hand. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Beautiful hook. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. and the uppercut scores. Oh, beautiful hook! Oh! Under three minutes now. Again, he takes him down. He's inside control here. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Posture's up. He passes, side control. Oh, mount! He got reversed. Great job on the reversal. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. Full mount here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Just over a minute remains. Into his guard. And into side control. Half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. And he gets reversed. He ate that one. Moves into full mount here. 30 seconds to go in this fight. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushes him off with the feet, and he lets him back up. And now he's answered. 
They go the distance. And we'll head to check out the judges' scorecards. Joe, that was a pretty darn good fight. That was an awesome fight. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 48, 47, 48, 47, and 48, 47, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC featherweight champion of the world, Joe Daddy Stevenson! Joe Daddy Stevenson, the winner inside the octagon.